Hello, friends, and welcome back to a brand new week of Dream Daddy. Let's just jump right into it. I mean, <clears throat> let's just jump into it. I show up at the coffee shop at 8, the coffee shop, the coffee spoon at 8, I guess it would be a coffee shop, in what I hope is concert-appropriate attire. I see Matt out front, locking the door to the shop. Hey, you made it. Ready for tonight? Uh, yes, of course, I definitely know what I'm talking about. You better believe it. Fellow li live music lover, grab those ticks and let's mosh this new. What? New? Short for venue? You know, where we go to... Where we go to see dope certs? Are you just making this stuff up right now? Ah, oh, man, I gotta admit. I haven't been to a real concert since pet rocks were cool. I have no idea what I'm in for. Did your daughter make you take her to one of the boy those boy band concerts where everybody holds signs and scream cries? Yeah. I got two lined up next month. I still can't get the glitter out of my car from the last one. Stay strong. But dude, I get to take you out on your first concert in a long time? This is gonna be awesome. Just hang with me, dick. You'll be good. <laughs> You'll be good. This scene is super supportive. It'll be a blast. Quick question. Shoot. What is... scene? <laughs> Matt lets out a tiny laugh. That was more than a tiny laugh. That's that's enough of a laugh to make me go, oh, geez, well, I'm just gonna go home now. Hey. Sorry, sorry. It's just weird because scene can describe a music scene as it pertains to a community of people who like the same genre, but can also describe a genre of music no one wants to admit they're into. Like K-pop. Wait. Nah, I'm okay admitting that. Matt looks off in the middle. Look, Matt looks off into middle distance. He says nothing, but I can tell he's thinking never again. That's confusing. You'll get it. The important thing tonight is that you enjoy yourself. Come on, let's head to the show. After watching, after waiting in a short line to get in, we finally find ourselves in a small venue with a stage at at one end and a bar at the other. Most people are closer to Amanda's age than mine. I suddenly feel very out of place. My wanting youth is showing. I'm suddenly aware of my mortality. Uh, when were the good years in my life? Will Amanda still love me as both as we both grow older? Wait, is sea punk actually a genre? Matt, you made it! A younger kid runs up and high fives Matt. Yeah, just like that. The kid runs off and Matt turns to me, shuddering. I get nervous when people surprise high five me. Me too. I'm like a small animal. Loud noises and large groups of people frighten me. Then why are you here? Do you also enjoy curling up in a patch of sunlight to take a nap? That's my favorite thing to do. Hey, me too. Guess you and I have more in common than I thought, Matt. A couple other people notice that Matt's in the crowd and hey. yell hey as well. Matt waves and hugs a couple people. <laughs> he seems really in his element here. Oh. Matt turns attention back to me. I am so afraid of all these people. Oh. Let's go grab a beer. Matt and I line up at the bar in the back, where a couple of older concert goers hang out. I, I will say this, if you've been to a concert, and if you are of age, 21 or older, go to the bar section. It's so much better. You're not going to have to deal with annoying young people, and it's just more chill back there. So that's, that's my word of advice. That is my daddy advice number 24. If you go to a concert, go to the bar section. Uh, a couple more people notice Matt and I tip their drinks oh. and hit them. Uh, seems like you're a popular guy here. Ah, yeah, I get a lot. I go to a lot of shows. This is a really cool oh. spot. But it's times like these where I realize I can only be charming and funny for about five minutes before I run out of stuff to talk about. And then I become keenly aware of where my hands are. And that there's no comfortable place in your mouth for your tongue to rest. Crap, now I feel like my tongue's in a weird place. God damn it, where do I put my tongue? See? Well, I've known you for more than five minutes, and I still think you're charming and funny. Just you wait. We grab our drinks. This scene seems really friendly. I don't know why people wouldn't want to admit that they listen to it. <laughs> Let's check out the merch. Whoa. Are you a guy or a girl? Matt and I walk over to a small booth in the corner of the room where a crusty-looking teenager guards a selection of shirts and records. He singles me out from across the room and hops up on his chair. Step on up! Get your merch here! I got t-shirts! I got tank tops! I got all the gifts in a com... account... A discerning concert goer of considerable taste might want. You! I gesture to myself, my face flushing red. Yes, you! You look like a fella who knows his mute that way of mute. 
stuff. How's about a 5, 12 inch long playing vinyl record made and distributed by Pup, Canada's premier punk rock outfit? Uh, Sally Ho, good sir. Well, see here, fine shopper, your enthusiastic salesmanship has aroused my interest, and suspicion is equal parts. How can I, a consumer of the final goods of life, trust your wares to be a true spirit? A fine question from a discerning patron. Okay, Pablo, you can give it a rest. The teen hops off the chair and takes a seat. Your friend looked lost, so I figured I'd give him the old razzle-dazzle. How the hell are you, Matt? Day by day, my man. They do that thing where they high-five, but it also turns into a hug? Your mom doing better? Eh, she's still single. If you want to be my dad, I could make that connect. <laughs> Awkward. And I have to deal with you every single day? Fair enough. Who's your bud? That's Dick. <laughs> Thought I'd bring him out to a concert. <laughs> That's indecent exposure, Matt. You shouldn't bring your dick out to a concert. <clears throat> Pablo leans closer to Matt. Probably to get a better look at Dick. His dick cool. <laughs> My eyes meet. I eye him back. He cracks a smile. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pablo brings me in for a bro hug. Hey, dude. I'm not sure what to say. <clears throat> but give the curtis the curtsy, the curtsy. But give a curtsy. A uh, courtesy two pats on the back, as it is customary in our society for people who don't know super well but still want to be friendly too. Yeah, the two pat. The two pat pat. Pablo's a total card. Ugh. Kid plays the hell out of a bass. Yeah, man. When are we starting our witch house band? You know, I'm out of the game. It's a shame. You know... Who? Would have slayed. If someone could pronounce it. It'll slay once you start actually making music instead of just printing a bunch of band shirts. We got the sickest logo. While Matt and Pablo talk, I check out the merch. These shirts are really nice. Looks like the, uh, looks like the opener's coming on get a spot up close. Oh, I can feel a minigame coming on. Matt and I walk over the stage where a crowd begins to form. The band walks on stage and picks up a variety of stage instruments. Is that a harpsichord? The lead singer dresses the crowd. He has a mandolin slung behind his back. Hey, what's up everybody? We're Jonathan Jones and the Speaksy Choir. My name's Daniel. Let's start the show. Oh no, these guys. What? Without time to respond, the band starts playing the most... It's a cacophonous noise I've ever heard. What is this? Matt doesn't say anything. He just hands me earplugs. Thanks. I put the earplugs in and whatever the hell is assaulting my ears gets a lot quieter. For a band this bad, they sure do seem to ha be having fun. I guess that's what matters. Jesus, did this cellist just break his bow on half? I don't get it. The set seems to go on forever, there's no breaks in the songs, and I think one of the band members' jobs is specifically just to burn poetry on stage. I turn to Matt and try to start a conversation. So, you go to a lot of concerts here, huh? What? I'll just drop it. He can't hear me. So I just stop and try to enjoy the music. This isn't music. This isn't music. I mean, listen, listen to this stuff. Let's turn up the volume a little bit. Yeah, that's that's not music. Whew, turn that back down. Okay. No, th this is impossible. How long have they been playing the same song? 10 minutes? 20? A year? Eventually, eventually, the set ends. But only after the drummer sprains his ankle during his saxophone solo. They promised it was part of the act as he was carried off stage crying. Matt and I both pull our earplugs out. Man, that was something. I promise Pup is much better. I just... I have a lot of questions that I know I'll never get the answers to. Oh yeah, he sprains his ankle at every show. They're being real about that. Hey. Let's grab another beer. Alright, it's I'm gonna need that after that thing. Matt and I work our way out to the crowd and back to the bar. More and more people file into the concert space as it gets close to the main act. It's it's getting kinda crowded in here. We grab our beers and I try to follow Matt back to our spot. There's so many people that I'm having a hard time keeping up. As I work my way through the throngs of excited concert goers, I realize I've lost Matt entirely. I stop and look around, seeing nothing but a sea of hip 20-somethings. I'm lost. How am I ever going to find Matt in here? Where's the exit? Are there even exits? What if I'm trapped in this building forever? Am I going to see my daughter ever again? What if that terrible band gets back on stage? What if... Suddenly, a hand reaches out to grab me. It's Matt. Hey. Almost lost you, buddy. 
Whew, I got really nervous for a second there. You and me both, dude. He takes my hand and leads me back towards the stage. I can feel myself blushing a little. We finally settle back into our spot and wait for the band to start. Busy place, huh? Yeah, Pup really brings out a crowd. So, you go to concerts a lot? Oh yeah, it's one of my absolute favorite things in the world. I think it's one thing to listen to music and connect with it, but when you're in a room full of people connecting with music just the way that you are, that's magic. I suddenly have the urge to pee. Curse this tiny bladder. I've never heard it put that way. That's really beautiful. Also, I have to pee. Hurry up, man. They're, get they're about to go on. I squeezed my way out of the crowd towards the restroom. I really should have gone before I left the house, but Amanda was watching beauty videos in the bathroom. She had an eyeliner wing thing halfway across her face, which was actually pretty good. Which was actually a pretty good look. I'm so proud of her. I make it to the restroom finally, but it's one of those single-person restrooms with a line forming outside of it. Oh boy. All right, well, we're gonna try and get into the bathroom on the next episode of Dream Daddy. Hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe so you know when more videos go up. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna upload every day, but eh, you know, still happy to have you subscribe. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the comment section, and as always, keep it frosty, friends.